Which way we headed? You remember there was a small camp when we first rode into the valley? Yeah, I remember. You call this a bike? It may not be a fancy drifter bike, but it gets the job done. Get on. I wonder about the freaker sometimes, you know? Like... So, how's she doing? The girl that I brought in, Lisa. Are you, are you gonna take me to see her? No. God damn it, Ricky. What what the hell? Why not? I can't. She's not here. Wait, wait, hold on for a second. Where is she? A few days ago, Schizo assigned her to a scavenge run. She and three others headed over to the rope camp to look for supplies. They came back without her. You're telling me they left her? They left her out the shit? They didn't leave anyone. They said she ran off. Jesus! It could have been anything. Wolves, freaks, rippers. Choose your poison. What? What? What was Schizo thinking? Sending her out on a supply run? Everyone's gotta work, Deke. That's the deal, and you know it. I don't believe this shit. Look, she'd been surviving in Marion Forks for years when I found her. Yeah, then maybe you should have left her there. Who's there? Get back, don't make me blow your goddamn Loser. head off. It's me. No, get back! Oh. Hey. Hey, it's, uh, it's Ricky. <laughs> you remember me? I rode with you guys a year ago. Ricky. What? Tumalo? Yeah. That's the... Tumalo to Lost Lake? Yeah. Yeah, man. Hold on, hold on. That's right. How, how you doing there, Loser, are you doing uh, all right? Just PG. It still didn't give you the right to steal our shit. Are you kidding me? Look at his arm. What was I supposed to do? Huh? I don't know. Maybe ask. Jesus. Look at you guys, the biker boys. The most badass drifters in this shit, right? And now you come back crawling to Iron Mike. Oh, wait. If you let you. <laughs> come on, just help me get him back to Addy. Let's go. Come on, pal. I still need your help. <clears throat> Ricky. Yeah, Boozer Ricky. Hey, where, where are we going? Addie said she's agreed to, to take a look at your arm and, and see what she can do. What? No. No, you're not taking me to some goddamn camp. I can ride, damn it. We're not sa Damn it. Boozer, it's just for a few days. Get some shit for your arm and then... No. You know what it's like there, Deke. No, you're not thinking straight. This isn't the Hot Springs. This is Lost Lake. Iron Mike. Remember him? Iron Mike? Who's gonna get us killed? He said. That was a long time ago. They built the place up. They, they got more people. We're all gonna fucking die. We'll be long gone before anything like that happens. Camp's got the only dock in a hundred miles. Now, Addie, just look, she'll take care of it. Just, just a couple of days. Yeah, then we ride the hell out of here. Right north, like you said. Get the hell away from all this. Yeah. Yeah, we ride north. Leave all this shit behind. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and check on him and make sure he's okay. Coward. Yeah, you got that right. Well, how long? And until he can ride, I mean. You mean how long do you have to be here? Look, we have antibiotics, but it's not enough. If Iron Mike lets you stay, your friend will have a chance.
So what happened? How'd he burn his arm like that? We ran into some rippers south of Belknap. Guess they didn't like his tattoos. Jesus. I've heard about him doing shit like that to themselves, but not to people they're trying to recruit. <sighs> Boozer wasn't any goddamn recruit. Well, guess Tucker should have made a deal with him like Iron Mike. Come on, Ricky. He just he doesn't get it. Carlos isn't going to honor any deal with Lost Lake, not for long anyway, and Mike, he just doesn't see it. He sees more than you when think. You've always had your good that. side, Deke. You've just you been doing your best to kill it. Damn <sighs> Thanks for the vote of confidence. Don't they group together like that for a reason? I mean, like a community or something? No. The mines are gone. I remember reading. You cannot believe a word he is going to say. Addy is soft. Mike, we do not have enough for those that pull their own weight, let alone a goddamn cripple. He's oh, not a cripple. On. He can work. He... I say we throw them out on their asses. Mike, that is not who we are. Jesus. Listen to you. And you. You tired of being Tucker's little bitch, finally? Raymond, huh? stop it. Don't call me that. I'm pretty tired, all right. All right, See? enough! See? You know who the fuck this guy is, and you know what he... You hold on! And you! You put that shit away. Mike, Deacon was I one know. that brought me the good. I know. And I know what kind of man he is. What he's done. He done any worse than you? Ricky? How about me? We've all been out in this shit, Schizo. We've all done things we're not proud of. We need another rider. Oh, now, wait a minute. I just need a few days and some antibiotics. I'll do whatever it takes. Sure, Mike. Whatever you say, I'm on board. Walk with me. I don't trust don't you. Don't start with me. So you're the one who brought them in. I didn't bring them in, Schizo. Boozer needed help. But he broke into the infirmary. The tackle shop isn't exactly secure. You were supposed to fix that weeks ago. Ricky told me you stopped running for Tucker. Sent that little girl here instead. I'm sorry I lied to you before about doing runs for Tucker. How long you been drifting, you and Bill? I don't know. Like I said, time gets lost. You folks don't put down some roots. Figure this shit out. Grow some food. Come next spring, won't be none of us left. If you give Boozer what he needs, let us hold up here till he can ride. Like I said, I will do whatever you need. I just, I, I want you to know that as soon as he's patched up, we're gonna put together some gear, we're gonna ride north. North, huh? There's a camp up there near Smith Rock. Boozer's never been there. Anyway, gotta let it go down here. It's time to move on. Fresh start, eh? Yeah, I can respect that. Now go on. Leave me be, I got some thinking to do. Sure, Mike, yeah, whatever you say. Just have Ricky radio me if you need something. But I heard you were back. <laughs> Didn't think that. See ya. Oh, 
Hey, uh, I gotta ask you. I heard you riding in last night with Ricky, and, uh, who's that guy? Boozer. Or his name is William, or Bell. I I've always just called him Boozer. Don't ask why. I wasn't... I mean, is he gonna be okay? I stopped by to say hi to Addy. He didn't look so good. Yeah, he's gonna be fine as soon as he's patched up. We're, we're riding north, you got that? So just drop it, okay? You waiting for something? Uh, yep. Uh, okay. See ya. Deacon, hey, is everything okay? What's wrong? Uh, actually, that's not why I'm here. Okay. Came by to see if there's anything you need for the uh, infirmary. Actually, we're running low on everything. I mean, we could always use more meds, sterile bandages, instruments. Uh, here. Hmm. Liston knife. Yeah, it was used by doctors in the Civil War to perform operations in the field. Operations? Yeah, you know, when they didn't have any anesthesia or laudanum. I wrote down where you might be able to find one. <laughs> it's the brochure for the Visitor Center at Sherman Sherman's Camp. Camp. Yeah, yeah, the plate's crawling with all the freakers. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, uh, Deacon. Thank you. Got a list of knife. Head to Sherman's camp. The place is going to be crawling. Chopper that night. Yeah, 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 I know, okay, but first, you gotta do something for me. Wait, what? You need something from me? Look, there's a digital display on your radio. I'm going to send you a coded message, coordinates. Meet me at that location. O'Brien, oh, what the hell is this all about? Just leave me there. There are soldiers all around me like before. Don't let them see you. O'Brien oh, out. burning out this nesting zone. I'll come back later, finish burning out these nests. Nick, is this Cope? You out there? Cope, yeah, yeah, I'm here. I'm, uh... And you uh, got another job for me. Okay, I'll swing by. Deacon up.
I smell it. <clears throat> Gotta be getting close. in that one. Left. This place has been picked over clean. Listen, knife. This is it. Gotta get it back to Addy. I got that knife you were looking for. Thank you, David. You have no idea how badly we need this. No problem. Glad to help you. Ada Tucker to Deacon St. John. Come in. Deacon, you out there? Hey, Tuck. Uh, you got a job for me? Okay. I'll swing by. Deacon out. and thieves, the lot of you. How many people you killed today, huh?
Open the gate. Hey, we don't want any trouble. So, uh, a couple months ago, we were up by the crazy wheelie. Dad and Tommy and I. Hey. Oh, here's that knife you were looking for. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Trade, right? Who the hell's my ratchet wrench? This thing is complete. <laughs> Come back if you remember what you want. Later. <laughs> 